After close to a month without a video, here I am again, and let's just, I know Smackdown was on tonight, and judging by the news and the spoiler, last Tuesday with uh, Randy Orton becoming the new champ, as you all saw tonight on Smackdown, I didn't watch it, didn't want to watch it. For the, for the past few days, it was so... Like mind-boggling, what what they did to Christian, like, but I under I understand business is business, and it's not by any means Randy's fault. I mean, there was the jokes and like all the shots on Randy, and and from all the Christian fans, all the peeps. I am probably the biggest peep. I mean, E and C, I love those days, man, and just. The way that Christian gained the title at Extreme Rules, just to have it just, just the carpet under him and just took it out. I really, really, like I said, I don't want to hate on Randy too much in this video. So I just, I waited to make this video and, uh, I feel a lot calmer and collected now, but still, man, I did not watch SmackDown. I didn't want to see it, and just, yeah, it's messed up, but um, I'm sure they, they had a reason to do what they did. I mean, I've read that um, it was supposed to be Del Rio that captured the title at Extreme Rules for Randy to take it, and... Once um, all the websites reported it on spoiler that um, we'll have more news when we get it, and like I thought the worst, I thought Christian was injured again. Luckily, he is not. And just then I thought, well, maybe they made it a, a triple threat. Didn't make it a triple threat. But yeah, Christian. Should be the champ, is not anymore. Randy Orton, your new champ. So, uh, so let's get on to other stuff. This past weekend, it was probably one of the coolest weekends for here in Toronto, being a UFC 129 and a huge event, 55,000 plus. And I got some facts for you. That I'm gonna run down for you guys and just tell you because usually what they do and what they do for all all the Vegas events and all the events other were it was a lot different because check this out for um, the cameras they had 21 cameras they they usually use seven 38 semi trucks for the equipment. Normally uses five. That's a crazy. Uh, 329 rigging points, the, um, which is four times what they use, the usual 70. 1.4 million watts. I'll say that again. 1.4 million. They're only used to using 400,000 watts. 14 video screens were constructed. More, that's more than double. Uh, eight, broad, eight broadcast trucks produced the live show instead of the usual three. Three megawatts used to power the show. Enough energy to power 3,000 homes. And ten times the normal power usage, which is 0.3 megawatts. So that tells you how extreme... They went for this event. It was a huge event. I watched from home. Didn't get a ticket. But what I did get was an awesome thing here. I'll show you this. 
friend of mine who was at the expo hooked me up with a Shogun Rua autograph. So, dude, thank you very much, man. So, yeah, that's the whole thing I got for you guys for this video. It's not going to be a huge video, man. Like, like I said, 129, huge event. Um, GSP ended up taking the regaining, or not regaining, retaining the title. Not my favorite match, but I know a lot of my friends were giving me shit on, on Facebook about that. But, um, yeah. Other than that, I read some news today that Shane Helms got in a car ac a motorcycle accident with his girlfriend. And he is hospitalized with the girlfriend. I'm not sure what's going on there. I just read it, like, within the last ten minutes. So, Helms, buddy, I hope you pull through. Yeah, man. I used to love Helms when he was Hurricane. And then he was the Shane Helms that he was. But if he ever came back as the Hurricane, I would pretty much mark out. For sure. Alright, guys. That's it for me. So, hope you liked the video. And we'll go from here. Adios, my friends.